All right, so I don't own a 3D printer yet. It's on order from MakerBot. And neither do you. You don't own probably a 3D printer either. So I'm gonna show you how to make a custom bracket for this out of plumber's putty. The first thing is cover your uh, actual stepper motor in scotch tape. Okay, that's step one. Okay, and even on the front here. So as much scotch tape as possible to make it so I can get it back out. And what I want to do is make a bracket that goes from here down. Alright, so let me cover this wet, the rest of the way with scotch tape and then we'll continue. Alright, next, mount the stepper motor and so it has a gap between these. And make sure it's at a good angle. So if you can see here, you know, if I look down this pipe, it's at a pretty straight angle with the pipe itself as far as the shaft is concerned. Okay, make sure that you put a nut in between here, there and there. That will strengthen the actual bracket that I make. Uh, that nut will be in the inside. Make sure it's sitting on the tape. Okay, so the tape comes first onto the stepper motor and then the actual nut and then this is all ready bolded to the actual device. The problem here is this. Okay, you got a little bit of play here, so I want to create a custom bracket that fights that play. Alright, so there's my custom built bracket using plumber's putty. Uh, it's not dry yet, but I'll tell you that when it does dry, it's going to be a force of nature to reckon with. Um, actually, there is some good science behind this. The scotch tape, uh, its chemistry sticks to the stepper motor, but actually the chemistry that happens when this stuff adheres or bonds or hardens uh, loosens that chemistry, and then this should come off pretty freaking easy uh, based upon me unscrewing it, of course, and then I'll be able to plop in a new one if I had to. So this is a good way to make brackets for things, just wrap them up in scotch tape and then uh, plumber's putty in them. You know, sometimes I cut this stuff really nice, uh, sometimes I sand it down, but when I'm done, it doesn't look half bad. Alright, so there is my custom bracket. Enjoy. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the stepper motor off, and you can see that those nuts were thoroughly put into place now. Okay? Now, another thing I've done in the past is if you put JB Weld in there, okay, see where the, the holes are? That'll fulfill all the little holes and gaps and make it even stronger. So, just a hint. And you can see it's on there pretty good, but it doesn't, it's not the fact that it's on there, it's the fact that it takes up the space between here in here and turns it into uh, a flat surface rather than a pipe. Alright, enjoy!